Welcome back to Inspection Pro Joe, episode 13. Today, Joey and I wanted to talk about mentorship and how you can use a mentor to grow your business and, you know, to grow in life as well. Hey, man, you know, when we when I think of the word mentorship, you know, I think of like maybe one mentor, but, you know, really in life, you need to have a, a few mentors, you know, because one could be a business mentor, one could be a relationship mentor, one can be a, you know, a life mentor as far as, you know, getting the most out of your life. Um, so you really got to look to people to, that can help you or that have the life or the business or the relationships that you want to have. And now those are the people that need to be mentoring you. You know, and when I look back at, you, you know, my life and, you know, I'm only 32 years old, so I'm fairly young, but I was very fortunate to understand the power of mentorship through a network marketing company organization that really preached on it. And that's really how I realized that I had a vehicle to grow this business. And I knew I needed to find other home inspectors that were above what I was doing to get ahead. But I want, you know, mentorship is one thing, but you know, it ties back into personal growth because you can see mentors, but you know, the filters on our eyes, are changed through personal growth and opportunities and people that come into your life that you can look for as a mentor change as you grow personally. Mm -hmm. You know, at, at 25 years old or 24 years old, when I started my personal growth journey, you know, I wouldn't have known who could, who would, who should be my mentor. You know, it was, it was really the personal growth that let me filter out so I could find the right people. You know, we talk about the Facebook groups all the time where, you know, people are following people who don't have the business they want, who don't have the successes that they want, but are like average right there with them. They're doing three, 400 inspections a year and they're listening to those people. You know, you know, the filter and the personal growth that I went through made me realize I had to find mentors that were 10 years ahead of me or 10, 10, 10, 10 steps ahead of me. So I could learn from them and, and, and copy what they're doing while making it my own. So I'm glad we're talking about this because I think a lot of inspectors need to hear, hear this, Yeah. you know, because the power of mentorship ex can accelerate your life and speed up your business. So you don't have to wait five, 10, 15 years. And really, I mean, we've had Matt Smith as a perfect example, a year. He took his business to a million dollar year business in a year because he was smart enough to know the right people to listen to. Yeah. And, you know, yeah, absolutely. And I love that we're talking about this as well. This conversation stemmed from a book I'm actually reading last week. We talked about a book that Joey was reading. And this week um, I wanted to bring a little bit of something from this book, which is story or building a story brand by Donald Miller. Um, in this book, there's a lot of marketing techniques like that get to the, like the core of marketing, which is the story. And for, um, you know, for a home inspector, you aren't the hero of the, the client's story. The, the customer is the hero and you're just the guide. So as I'm reading that, I'm thinking to myself, all right, if every story has a guide, like they, what they say in the book is, if you look at any movie, there's always the hero in his peak of despair runs into a guide. So the example they use is Star Wars, right? Luke in the peak of his despair runs into Obi-Wan Kenobi. And Obi is the, the mentor that he has that helps him in his fight to get what he needs to do done. So that's, that's what really started my thinking of, all right, so if you're a home inspector who your goal is to grow your business, What's the best way to do that? You're in despair at the peak of your despair in the COVID-19 pandemic, and you need to figure out how that you're going to support yourself, your family, your future. How are you going to do that? And I was thinking, wow, this is a really good topic to bring up. How can we look for mentors? How can we connect people? And what should you be looking at? So that's why I wanted to ask you today some of these questions like, what was your experience with mentors? Did you did you have someone that you looked up to in the business right away? Was it was your first mentor your father, or maybe an older brother? And what were you able to learn from them that helped you to grow so fast? Well, I think, you know, you go back in time, you know, my first mentor was probably my dad when it came to sports. 
you know, I was very sports driven. Um, and then as I started getting better and performing better and went into college, you know, I had a high school coach who was named Brett Lewis, who was unreal, you know, mentor taught me what it was like to work hard. You know, mm -hmm. he, he expected a lot out of us. Parents complained a lot about him because he was demanding and, and, and he, again, he expected a lot out of high school kids. Um, but I respected, I respected him so much looking back and, and then my college coach, not the first college I went to, but the second, the one I graduated from for baseball, what a mentor. And I, and I never forget, I'm reading John Maxwell, five levels of leadership. And it was like, I was back in college and I wasn't even reading a book called five levels of leadership, but I could relate it to his program and what, how he did that. So those were major mentors in my life. And I think, you know, um, Kevin Anderson, my college coach set me up to on, on personal growth because I was able to read and grow and relate it back to that and be like, wow, I've learned so much in college, not from academics, yeah, from baseball, wow. from not playing the game, but the practices, the work that we put in the accountability, the words of the month that he would, that we would have, you know, and that really transformed into my business life now. And mm. I think it's a, a huge reason why we have the success that we have and why I've had a small amount of success in my, in my short life, you know, it. mentors are important. And then, uh, you know, having mentors come in financially and business wise in my life that told me that I'd really needed to find somebody in the home inspection industry because I had this family business that was ab above me so I could grow. And that's where I met the, a Jerry Linkhorn a uh, Chad Het, you know, all these big companies that I was able to piece through and there's more, a uh, Dan Dice, you know, Dan Dice, um, yeah, Nathan Thornberry, you know, where these guys are pioneers and big companies in this industry that I could take information from them and apply it into my own business to accelerate my growth. And, you know, for a couple of them, I think I, I've grown a little bit past them but I use them to do that. And I'm very, I'm so grateful that they were open to share that information with me. Um, and now it's, when I go to these conferences, it's finding people, you know, that may not be bigger than me now, but maybe doing something a little different than I am that are getting themselves to the level of revenue that we are, at, that mm -hmm. I'm at, that I pick and piece. And now it's just putting the pieces together to, to get to 3 million, to get to 4 million, and understand how these they're doing it. What I what I'm grateful for is that there are bigger companies than me that I can go to these conferences. Like we're going to, to Dallas, but I can go to a conference and find them and see what they're doing, see how they're structured, see see what they're doing different. How are they growing their business? How they scale quickly, you know. But I'm not going to ask a 400 inspection person what they're doing to scale quickly because they're not on the same yeah. playing field as I am. You know, at, at 2 million, 1 million, I can learn from those guys who have multi-inspectors what they're doing to grow and they can learn from me. And that's that's really powerful. And granted, it, I'm not saying if you do 400 inspections, I am more than happy to share everything that I have. And that's why we're doing this podcast. Um, and you know what? I may pick up a piece that, that you're doing. Maybe you're handling a situation a certain way. You know, I, I, I believe we can learn from everybody. But as far as growth of my business yeah i'm really going to learn that from people that are you know my size bigger yeah. or that are doing 10 million 12 million dollars a year you know and how and how they went about doing that right. was it staying in your own territory you know so there's you know but i i you got to one have a if you're a business owner you or you want to be a business owner if you're a single man inspection shop you're not a business owner you're an employee of your business if you want to be a business owner you have to commit yourself to personal growth mm -hmm. because, and, and, and because if you don't, you're going to be hiring people who are relying on you. And if you're not growing, then your business is only going to reach a level of your personal growth, you know? And so you always got to be learning. You know, one thing we had Nathan on here on our podcast, he is committed and you see, he shows up day in, day out, day in, day out. Um, and you see it like, the actions behind it. He's committed to growing and, and, and evolving. I love it. You yeah. know, and so get get another thing. Find a mentor who's not stagnant, who's growing. 
who has setting goals for their business, who who wants to be better, you know, who did, hasn't plateaued. Yeah. You know, so I, lo- I love what you said at the be- beginning there too. And I really got it as you were going on there that when I had originally thought of the topic of mentorship, I was thinking like, all right, so if an audience member of ours who is a, a, a new inspector or has, you know, is a one man shopper, you know, has just started out on their journey and, and sees themselves really growing. I was thinking, how should they find a mentor? But what I didn't think is that it doesn't have to be a mentor in the industry. I love what you were talking about, you know, coaches and you, it could be a job from a, a boss from a, another job when you were younger. It could be someone that you work with, a, a colleague, a friend that doesn't exactly work at home inspector. And I love that, that you can find, you know, little nuggets of, of tips and tricks and advice and, you know, ways to build your character and stuff like that. These beautiful things you can get from mentors that aren't, you know, home inspection based. So I, I guess I'd, you know, I'm wondering, is there is there a way that once you you get all that stuff and you know you're you're looking to grow personally and you know business, is there a way to connect with people in the home inspection world for mentorships? Is, is that something that if you just like if you build your business up and you want to get to that next level, if you reach out to a home inspector who is uh, you know some of those guys that you talked about as people you had looked up to as mentors, is there a way to reach out to them and would they be receptive of you know talking to you about how to grow? your own business from that point. Uh, I'm glad you brought that up. And, and, you know, the three probably top organizations that are mentoring or have mentorship programs in the industry that I can think of right at the top of my head is inspection. Go, they have a platinum group. It's I'm, I'm part of it. I love it. It's great. Um, you have top uh, inspector services group, top members. That is another great group to be in. And I've learned so much on that. Um, IEB inspection empire builder, um, is another group. I'm not a member of it, so I really can't speak to it, but I've heard great things about what they're doing, you know? So getting involved in one or, or one of, well, at least one of those organizations is definitely going to help your business. Yeah. Now be, signing up is one thing. Being involved is something different, yeah, right? Engage. Oh, you have, if you're not willing to engage and, and, and get out of your comfort zone, and meet people and build relationships with people, it's probably not gonna work. Yeah. Then you're gonna be pissed off that you spent the money to be involved in that and it's not gonna work. If you gotta engage, you got, if you're gonna put your money somewhere, whether it's a men, you, it's a partnership. It's not the mentorship does everything for you. It's he's guiding you, like you said, Jake, a guide that takes you through, but you have to be the one that takes initiative and ownership and does the work. Right. You know, we can, I can give you documents, but you got to make them your own. And I can give you, you know, agreements, but you got to make them your own. I can do all that, but it takes you that to be able to do it. You have to want, you know, and, and, and we, and you taught mentioned mentorship, you know, I think mentors are important, but you can't, don't have a hundred mentors. Don't have 15 mentors, right? Like, like you don't want to be boom, 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 boom. We can only focus on so much at one time that, you really got to make sure you're not listening to a thousand people because then you're just going to spin in circles, information overload. Be pulling you every different which way. Oh, pull, pulling you every which way. And, and you're probably going to waste money and be frustrated. Yeah. You know, and this, and again, this is why personal growth is huge because to find the right ones, you got to hone in on it. You know, and I'm, and I'm guilty of this because I'm impatient and I, and I get impatient on some stuff where, hey, my son, I'm doing something. Hey. <sighs> It's my buddy. Drop in, Jackson. Hey, nope. Go get. Go What's get up? Um, but I'm guilty of it too, where I get impatience and then I move. And whenever I do that, you know, 95% of the time I lose. I either lose money, I lose time. Like I, you, you have to be patient, focused, and not bouncing from one thing to another. Yeah. You know, I remember when, when I was trying to start other businesses outside of the inspection and I'd be boom, boom, boom. I, it was like a ping pong ball, you know? I said, dude, you can't do this. You can't do this, right? You got to focus and you got to put in the time. And if one doesn't work, then you move to the next one. one if one's work, build that up and then you can move to the next idea. Don't be an idea guy. Idea guys never get anywhere, right? You got to be an, imp- have an idea and then implement idea implement take action yeah so you have to find actionable items there action items 
And now a quick word from our sponsor, Pair Payments. Are you a home inspector looking to pair with the best payment processor to fit your needs? Well, look no further than Pair Payments. Call us today at 833-968-7767 or visit our website, pairpayments.com. And don't forget to ask about no-fee credit card processing. Thank you. One question I have from that is, all right, so you, you're taking advice from people. You're listening to people. Did you ever have an instance where someone was really pushing you to go one way and then you had another mentor that was really telling you that, no, that's not a good idea. You got to go this way. And how do you kind of resolve that and figure out what to do if they're if they have opposite views on something? Well, I think, you know, the best mentors aren't telling you what to do. OK, right. They're they're giving you, you know, what what they would do. But, you know, that and that's, again, personal it goes back. You have to responsibility, personal responsibility, personal responsibility. You you have to look at their information, look at their results and then make the educated decision on whether to move forward in that direction. Now, if that's not where your heart is or you think it needs to go another way, then you go the other way. You know, the mentors that I've had in my life don't get upset when you, you, there's a disagreement, right? Or they're telling me that it's like the, the, the angel on one shoulder and the devil on the other shoulder, right? Yeah. That's, you know, they, they're, they're the ones that say, hey, do this, hey, you know, okay, try that. You know, you may, you may discover something new, but if, if you're not growing personally and you're not listening to your mentor, that's a recipe for disaster. Yeah. It, it just is. Uh, you need you need to be doing both. You need to, like I said, you need to be doing your part in in, in it all, as a, as the as a business owner. Mm-hmm. And so that's you know doing it all. That ties into what would you say? Reading books, listening to podcasts, just talking to people in the industry in general. You know, yeah, maybe looking at blog posts, just being filtering filtering your mind. Yeah, it's, it's filtering your mind, right? It's we are what the information that we put into our head. I can tell you this. If you're looking at Facebook all day, you probably aren't the happiest motherfucker in the world. No way. Yeah. You know, if you're looking at Instagram all day, depending on who you're, probably not the happiest person. But if you're listening to success audios, if you're listening to podcast, learning podcasts, business podcasts, if you're, if you're not watching the news, right, and you're watching things that actually are growing this inside of you, yeah. you, know, you know, putting good information in your brain, you are going to set yourself up for success. Your subconscious mind is so powerful. Yeah. And if you're f- filling it with shit, the election, the Biden versus Trump and, uh, you know, it's too much noise. Black Lives Matter versus, yeah. you know, Trump supporters rioting, it's you know, too much noise. Ter- 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 I mean, there's too much noise and you, you can get involved in that, you know, waste as a your business time and your, your oh. mental bandwidth. Yeah, exactly. You know, as a business owner, I could I could be upset that taxes could potentially get raised under Joe Biden. But what is getting upset really solved? Nothing. And you don't Nothing. have the time for that. Nothing, right? If, yeah. if my taxes go up 12% like they're supposed to, okay, cool. I have to then adjust as a business owner and I have to get with my CPA and I have to plan for that. That is the solution instead of saying, oh, fuck. Joe, damn it, you had raising my taxes, you motherfucker. Yeah. I'm not going to get like that. Yeah. I'm going to focus on the solution. Yeah. Okay, now what do I have to do to prepare for this? Because I know it's coming. Where can I get my deductions? Because I know there's probably going to be, those are probably going to open up. So those are the things that I'm going to focus on as a business owner. And then the same if, you know, you, you just, you it's adapting. Yeah. And those that don't adapt or get stuck in their ways or bitch and piss and moan, I'm a step ahead of you because yeah. I'm not going to focus on that stuff. And one principle I think really you're helping me tie into this is the principle of like not invented here in design where you take something, a product that was, you know, invented for a different use and you say, wow, that's, that's a great piece of engineering or it's a great product and let's use that component in something else so that's called not invented here and it's a great way to you know take something from a different field and be able to utilize it so you're saving money and time all that but what i'm thinking is we were talking about mentors how they don't have to be home inspection mentors it can be like a coach that helps you grow as a person and stuff like that and when you're talking about the podcast that like for me that's a little bit of a a light that's going off and i'm thinking wow 
I didn't realize how much I was learning in other podcasts that were just educational that weren't business podcasts, but I was able to get business principles from them, whether or not they were, you know, uh, historical podcasts or economic podcasts that were just breaking down like a free economics podcast on the study of lines and how people yep. view in lines and stuff like that. So all these different podcasts, even if they're just entertaining and it's a story about someone's life or something someone did, you really can pull from that. It just has to be good quality stuff. You can't get too over cluttered with all the noise of, of politics going, you know, back and forth, stuff like that, or people, you know, posting just random stuff that is just about them or something like you really do have to have to filter through it and pull from anything you can. Exactly. Yeah. You, you got to, and, and again, filters are important. Um, don't get caught up in the noise. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you, you, business principles are business principles because they work, yeah. you know, it's not like there's no, it's called a principle because if you apply them, it works like, yeah. you know, the only way it doesn't work is if you don't apply them, you know, and you can get them from anyone, you know, what's the difference between a home inspection business and HVAC system products, but you still have to have customer service. You know, you still have to have people scheduling. You still have to have people you know, may, doing the work, right? It's just the, the, the product that you're delivering or the service that you're delivering, but it's all the same. Yeah. It's still a product and a service. So you, it's just, instead of doing home inspections, we're doing HVAC system repairs. So they, they're definitely applicable. And, and you can learn something from anybody who's grown a big business. Yeah. You know, now the income structures may, might be different. The percentages might be different. You, you got to treat those. Yeah, you got to treat those so your business is profitable, right? You, you can't pay people more than you can pay them for the work that they're doing. That's just stupid, right? Yeah. It's bad business. So those are the details. But as far as like the big picture, macroeconomic picture of it all, it's very similar. Yeah. Well, thank you very much for helping me, uh, you know, flesh this out and understand mentorships and business a lot more. I yeah. appreciate it, Joey. Well, thank you guys. Thanks, Jake, man. I love doing this with you, brother. Me too. Um, th Great conversation. Thank you, yeah. Thank you guys. If this is valuable for you, please share it. Please write a review for us. Um, we love your feedback. If you have a topic that you want us to cover, again, we're business podcast in the home inspection industry. Please let us know. We, we'd, love, we'd love to talk about the topic. If you want to be a guest on our show, please reach out to us, message us, email us. Um, We'd love to have you. We'd love to. We'd love. We'd love for you to be on here. Um, we'd love for you to get exposure any way we can to help. So, Absolutely. thank you guys so much. Yep, thank you very much. And we are actually now going to be posting this on the same podcast platforms, but new YouTube channel. Uh, as you all know, we're sponsored by Pair Payments, but we're moving off of the Pair Payments YouTube channel and onto the uh, Inspection Pro Joe channel that we we have created on youtube so stay tuned for that and um we are excited for some of the new guests we're having on we we had a little bit of a scheduling issue with some guests that uh we got lost in the mix but we yeah. will be having some great guests coming on very shortly so again thank you joey thank you to our audience very much and we'll see you next week oh uh, thanks guys